Napping actually improves stamina, boosts your creativity, boosts your sex life, and reduces stress. Flirting is an effective way of reducing loneliness, depression, and relieving stress. Peeing after having having sex prevents you from catching urinary tract infections. Couples in love can reduce each other's pain or any other feelings of stress and fear just by holding hands, even though it is very tiny percentage. Some women can orgasm just through stimulation of breasts and nipples. No nipplegasms aren't a myth. If you feel sick, simply looking at the picture of a loved one can soothe the pain. Your body is the weakest during 3 to 4 a.m. Sleeping next to someone you love makes falling asleep easier, reduces depression risk, and helps you live longer. Psychology says the desire to sleep a lot may reveal a strong feeling of loneliness. When you fall asleep while overthinking, the mind remains active as if you were awake, which is why you tend to wake up tired. The happier you are, the less sleep you require to function. In everyday life, sadness increases the urge to sleep more. Morning sex is more efficient than coffee when trying to wake up and stay awake throughout the day. Sex makes you smarter. Having sex improves cognitive function and increases the rate of new brain cells being formed, giving you more brain power. But it doesn't work in reverse because smarter people usually have less sex. Women are likely to be more attracted to men whose feelings are a mystery than they are to men who have already showed an interest in them. The more sex you have, the more will be offered. The sexually active body gives off greater quantities of chemicals called pheromones. A man is born through a woman, and he is raised by a woman. And he falls in love with a woman, and he marries a woman. And I am surprised about the man who doesn't respect a woman. Men are smart because of women. Women are beautiful because of men. Men always want to be a woman's first. Women have a more subtle instinct. What they like is to be a man's last romance.